And welcome back to Forge by Geeks playing Kingdom Death Monster. We're probably down to just a little bit left at this point. Um, we were looking over things, and since we kind of got a little screwed by having a whole bunch of characters not able to go out this next lantern year, that stopped us from getting a, another constellation we wanted. Uh, it stopped us probably from getting enough iron to do what we wanted with the iron. Um, it's kind of put a whole bunch of kinks in our in our plan. So we've been talking about it and we reworked a few things. Uh, <laughs> so what are we looking at right now? Wait, reworked a few things? Like in what sense? Oh, uh, that we're not going for the weapon anymore. Yeah. And, so, and what's our plan for the next couple sessions? Sorry, you caught me off guard. Yeah, so we're not going for the Dragon Slayer any longer because we'd have to get five iron and we, we need two more iron. And... It's, A, we have to take out newbies to face the phoenix. We were thinking that that was going to be maybe a possibility that we could. Yeah, but we thought a, we could possibly handle it, but we have other concerns. Yeah, we're kind of a little bit worried. Like, the the tomb seems to be pretty punishing to people who don't have, like, if you don't have four people with the stars, which we clearly don't. Um, so, uh... Just a little off. We only got one? So it turns out not optional yeah um, you know it's funny though if we hadn't lost that rust and witch we would probably have three which we still would have gotten screwed a lot but then we would have been looking at getting a fourth with our one character yeah so i mean we we kind of had a chance but we just you know we had a really bad fight with the tyrant level two yeah and i mean you know we've we learned our lesson which is no you don't take out good people to face uh, them yeah, I mean, for the very first Nemesis, if you have a plan, you can possibly take out a level 1 one and you kind of plan for that. But I think for level 2 and 3, either bring out good people with run, and if things start looking bad, get the fuck out of dodge, or just bring out bad people. You know, but saying that, mm -hmm. aren't we planning on doing people with sun? Yeah. Oh, shit. That's basically that's you always... That's not a strategy. For no. people of the sun. No, you it's not. You can't do that at all. So. Yeah, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. Watch us slowly make our way through the people of the sun and then get to the nemesis and then die on the first encounter. Yeah, so on a side note, people apparently really liked our Battle Royale video. Um, we've got some great suggestions and it's something we're looking at. We're not going to do another round of that tonight uh, for a lot of reasons, but we've got some good suggestions on how to handle things like... Uh, uh, brain damage, and then also a few other things like dismemberment and things like that. So what we're looking at is trying to make it a little bit more of a game where we're like almost facing off against each other, drawing hands of cards with AI cards, and then we're going to use uh, brain damage as a mechanism to decrease your hand size and use dismemberment to permanently reduce your hand size. So brain damage is a temporary drop, you have to randomly dump cards, but dismemberment will be a permanent drop in your hand size. So really actually building it into more of a game. But we still have a few problems. We are looking at possibly doing the Kingsman versus Slenderman. Uh, that's something that a lot of people have fought over which one's stronger. And somebody brought that up. I was like, ooh, that's interesting. But um, we ran into a few problems looking into that just for possibly tonight. Um, first like off... we don't have the Kingsman mo model built. That's number one. I did manage to get the Slenderman built in time. So that's one thing. I'm just waiting for him to fall apart in your hands. Oh, God, that'd be horrible. Um, with how hard those legs were to attach. But tell me you You'd be surprised. No, I wouldn't. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so, uh, we don't have the Kingsman figure, which we'd like to do if we're going to do a Battle Royale, but we also haven't solved the problem of insanity, and we haven't solved the problem of how to handle the Kingsman's King Step and those three cards, because it feels like we may have to allow the monsters to hit more if they're in a one-on-one -on -one or something to handle something like that. I don't yeah. know. Or you'll just have to wait until the, character, the Slenderman would have to build up the King Step to bypass it. Uh -huh. I mean, it's a whole bunch of things we got to talk about to be able to make a fight like that interesting and not entirely lopsided. Yeah. Um, but beyond that also, uh, we were talking a little bit about our next campaign, which should be starting now in less than a month. Yeah. And we're planning to do People of the Sun. Uh, we're planning to bring in at least the Dragon King as an optional hunt mob. But I've gotten some recommendations on the Dung Beetle Knight. Mm -hmm. um, and there was... I don't know, man. I mean, the thing is, is that I'm betting the Dung Beetle Knight and the Dragon King are the same quote-unquote node mm. um, for, you know, if you're using the new system, because they, I think they both come in at year eight, which oh. would mean they're basically equivalent thingies. So we probably shouldn't bring in both. Is my guess. <clears throat> but we kind of want to bring in the Dragon King. 
if for nothing else, we can get revenge on him after this wonderful session. I don't think that that's how it's going to work. You don't think so? No. No, I don't think that, that it's going to be us who are winning. Hmm. Well, we'll find out. Yes. <laughs> but as far as uh, this game goes, for today, you're going to get a bonus round. Uh, we're going to be playing two <laughs> sessions today. Part of the reason for that is this is probably going to go relatively quick as far as the white line is concerned. And we already know what the next fight is and what we're going to do with it. So we're probably not going to have much of a settlement phase after this because we're not getting shit to, that we want to craft with. Then we're going to go face a level three butcher, which I think is the plan is run, 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 and don't die while running. Yeah, so I'm going <laughs> to you to roll double tens again. Yay! <laughs> not when we don't need it. Yeah. Um... And then that'll also have basically no settlement phase as well. So we're planning to do two sessions tonight, which means next week we will be facing our final hunt mob. And based on what we choose to fight then, we might do a double session, or we might just do that plus the next battle royale. We haven't quite decided yet. Yeah, it's also going to kind of depend on what happens with it. Because we'll, I think, yeah, we will finish the tomb. Yeah, we will. Because by doing this and then doing the nemesis, we'll finish the tomb tomb i think so we'll and i already know, know the next two weeks we next actually two to three weeks we won't have rico because he's out of town going to see family okay. in the midwest so he'll be entirely gone so we're not going to be doing pathfinder for a few weeks okay. so that means we may be doing double sessions we may be doing battle royales we may be doing some other random game because we've got a couple friends who have been begging to play other games with us and this takes a bit of time so we haven't been doing that as much yeah so okay. either way i think we're good to go with hunting a white lion yeah, so let's... And I think we're only doing level one. Yeah, because, I mean, it just... The risk-reward isn't really there for anything but a level one. Yeah, until and 1. we really 5. want we really want 1.5, and that's the other thing. We're talking... Now, People of the Sun's probably going to take months. <clears throat> Pardon me. People of the Sun's probably going to take months, but what we're kind of talking is after uh, People of the Sun, we, we're hoping 1.5 will be out by then. And then we will be able to do a proper 1.5 campaign and maybe win something. <laughs> yeah that's very hopeful that's always hopeful okay so i think we're good to go um let's roll and see who goes first as usual my white character on the screen cosmic latte noble will be the white die followed by cl noble for the black jade is the white i got an eight uh i got a seven so cosmic latte will be the monster controller okay dun 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 Oh, okay, something um, wrong? No. Okay. It's ne fine. Need the card. Uh, we need the priority target. Oh, token. right. That's useful. Yeah. Oh, had almost everything set up and forgot the token. Uh -huh. We'll also need the book in a moment. Yeah. Most likely. Well, yeah. unless he ambushes us. Mm -hmm. Lion in heat. The darkness is filled with unearthly screeching and yowling. Huddling together, the survivors close their eyes but cannot sleep. All survivors suffer one brain event damage. I noticed you just knew that was about to happen. Yeah. So, I have light brain damage on both my characters. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. You had actually insanity? Yeah. Wow. Both of my armor gear sets uh, give me insanity going out. Uh, the screaming uh, leg warmers give you an insanity, and uh, the uh, what you call it? Oh, the leather shoot. mask gives you two insanity. I forget. I, I, what's our max uh, survival again? Eight. Okay, so I've got plus two from departing due to the rawhide. I always forget that. So let me bump up CL. And I don't think I get any insanity or any crap off anything. No, of course not. Why would I get any of that? Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Okay, scratching grounds. Claw marks scar the ground. The survivors may choose to investigate. Each survivor that investigates gains plus one courage and rolls on the table. Uh, event damage, 30% chance of event damage to the arms. 40% uh, nothing happens. 50%? Uh, 50%. And 20% lion claw white lion resource. So, so what's the something happens? Uh, what? You look event damage to the arms if you get a 30%. But you get a courage. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go CL. Four. Uh, nothing happens. Let's go Cosmic Latte. Three. Uh, suffer arm damage. 
probably makes sense to do it around the table from the monster controller. Like. Oh, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, you're right. You get a courage, but... I do get a courage on both? Yeah. Uh, we get one light cl lion claw white uh, white lion resource from Jade Noble. Oh. Got a claw, yay! It's kind of funny because oh. Jade Jade Noble is um is retired but must depart because of the Elder Council. Of course. And nothing happens. Yay! So all of us gained a courage because of. All of us investigated. You know how frustrating that is, given our one character that only needs, like, three courage? Yep. And couldn't come out? All he needs is three more courage, and he'd have a constellation. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, if we had been able to bring up both those characters, we would have gotten a guaranteed constellation this fight, and would have almost gotten another one. So we okay. could have ended up with three. So, random hunt event is going to be 59. 59. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. Oh, not the right page. Signs of battle. The survivors come upon the remains of a terrible battle between their quarry and some unknown foe. The event revealer may choose to investigate. If they do, gain a courage and roll on the table below. Do you wish to investigate? You can get ambushed. You can... Gain survival and a brain event damage. Um, and, oh. All survivors would suffer the brain event damage in that case. Mm -hmm. And last, we can get a random basic resource. Otherwise, we roll on the hunt board again. So. Ah, uh, I'll roll. So I gain a courage? You this gain a courage. This is Bubbles, rolls a seven. Uh, the remains are human, filled with sadness and anger. Each survivor suffers one brain event damage. Now, I can't go more than light. No, you can't. Okay, good. You uh, can't suffer trauma from brain event dam from event damage. Yay! If the survivors chose graves, which I believe we did, yes, we each survivor gains a survival. Okay. Um, otherwise, we would have got a basic resource for cannibalize from the middle one as well. So that puts me at max of 8 on CL and up to 6 on Cosmic Latte. Okay. So we encounter the White Lion. Alrighty. So we will need two random uh, terrains, I believe? Yep, but don't forget to pull the tall grass first. All right, thank you. We have a tall grass. Oh. I will not shuffle the AI cards. Welcome to the stream, everybody. If you have any questions, as always, we love chatting with people. Uh, we are near the end of the People of the Stars. So always exciting. Yeah, we're near being ended by the people. Of the yes, stars. that's a better way of putting it. Kingdom Death Monster, it does not have the word death in its name for nothing. Or if you haven't seen the box, the inside of the box just has the word death printed like a thousand times everywhere. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven. There we go. Whoa, we just suddenly jumped up viewers. Wow. I think it was Twitch waiting to update. Possibly. It takes a while. Mm-hmm. But we definitely love our viewers and love chatting with you. It makes life a lot more fun and interesting. And don't forget, we're doing a double session tonight if you join the late. So we will be doing the White Lion followed by a Butcher Level 3. Which we are going to bravely run away from. <laughs> Honestly. Like, uh, fuck this noise. What's that? Good something. Uh, Brave Sir Robin bravely ran away from the no, the No, there's the. Uh, something is the better part of valor. Oh, yeah. Uh, what is it? Um, discretion is the better part of valor. Yes, that's it. It's <laughs> so, so very true. So for our other train tonight, we will have acanthus plants, because we always need more acanthus. And a nightmare tree. Ooh. Oh, yeah. No, that could be good. Yeah. That could, if, if we can get at least, um, the two scrap off of that, maybe keep them. Heading forward, we might actually be able to uh, pull out the weapon, at least. Yeah. 
Okay, can you grab the tree model and then uh, pull out the canthus and the tall grass? Yay! Do we have the lion sit on the tree? No. You don't think you don't think that'd work? Nope. I mean, it may work, but it's kind of silly. But he's like he's stalking us from the tree. Uh, no. <laughs> No, I mean, given that thing's paws, it probably could climb the fucking tree. Yeah, though I don't think I'd want to climb this tree. I'm just, I'm just saying. Well, yeah, but that, do you, like, do you want to be anywhere in the, this world? I'm noticing we've lost a lot of the fruit off the tree. Yes, we have. I wonder if our cats have been playing with fruit from the tree. <laughs> oh, that'd explain a lot. <laughs> okay, so, uh, I need the tall grass and the two acanthus. So he's going to attack first, as usual. The tall yep. grass needs to be four spaces away from each other. So I'll set those up like that. And then... Acanthus needs to be six spaces away from all other Acanthus. Yay? Yay. Done. Put that there. And then our nightmare tree needs to be five spaces away from all board edges. At least. And, oh, but the tall grasses has to be, oh, just from other tall grass. So actually, this may be for the best. Start us with the tree right by the tall grass. Hmm. That way, uh, two people can possibly loot on it right away. Okay, I'm going to put a uh, Cosmic Latte into the tall grass to possibly take the first blow. And then I'm going to put my other character right by the tree. And then you're going to go opposing that? Yeah. Okay, that'll work. Okay. That's pretty easy setup. All right. Uh, I still need to place this, so... I'll dump one of these by you in case you want to grab it. We really don't need it, but... Uh, that can be useful. Yeah. Don't they have to be apart from each Oh, other? yes. Thank you. Um, that's five, six. There we go. Okay. So that should work, and I don't think that the grass is only away from grass, the canthus is only away from a canthus, and the... Oh, can't put Board the tree edge. there. Yeah. Can't put the tree there. So the tree has to be there, but I can still start by it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I kind of wonder whether or not Poots has watched Attack on Titan. Why do you say that? Just, I mean, I don't think it influenced anything in Kingdom Death Monsters since it pretty much came out after, like, I think Kingdom Death Monsters, like, stuff. But since he's put references to Dragon Ball, I wouldn't be entirely surprised. Oh, yeah, where did... The Dragon Ball references, I always forget those. During the Kickstarter, like oh, Super yeah. Savior is only over 9,000. I mean, I, I, that's oh, not yeah. guaranteeing that but he's he, actually seen it, but I mean, you'd think Attack on has. Titan would probably be right up his alley. Yeah, I think so. Lots of death, destruction, mm -hmm. spoilers. Don't want to talk about today's episode because I'm sure some people haven't seen it yet. Mm hmm no, no, no spoilers at all. Nothing big happened in today's episode. Nothing at all. <laughs> Did anything big happen? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't hear you over the Kato fan fandom. Oh, you really like Kato. Yes, I do. Okay. Well, I like the kind of, like, SF feel for it. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm also just liking, like, they're moving slow, but sometimes I appreciate that. It reminds me a little bit of Haibane Renmei in that regard, or uh, Kino's Journey, where the episodes were slower but more methodical and thought out. Yeah, well... And now I'm aging myself. And you absolutely know that, like, what happened in the most recent episode of Kato is going to have terrible, terrible repercussions. No, not at all. <laughs> it's like, it was played super easy, but it's going to have terrible repercussions. Oh, no, no. Nothing would ever go wrong with what uh, Kato gave humanity. No. Yeah. No, nothing can go wrong with that. Anyways. Anyways. The, the lion is going to attack us. He as is. Lions do. He is going to grasp 
Closest knockdown survivor. Zip zero knock. Closest survivor. Okay. Move and attack. So who's he gonna? He's gonna move over and attack me. Mm. And I'm probably gonna dodge this so he doesn't run away with me. Okay. So uh, one speed, uh, normally two plus accuracy, but this is CL who has two evasion because of. Oh, I mismarked that. I have this two. Is you're probably making the right decision, but I'm going to point out we could have dashed away if we wanted to, I think. Yeah, I'm going to just you dodge. Because you were the target, so if you wanted to, you could have dashed. Yeah, with all the evasion from standing in the grass, I'm hoping that he just misses. Yeah. So it's a 2+, plus, plus my 2 evasion, that's 4+, plus, plus the 2 for the grass, 6+. plus. So it's only uh, one speed, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And he, he misses. misses! So he does not grasp me and run off. Okay. All right, so... So that made it pretty easy. That would be that. So now us. I'm going to start by looting a tree. Okay. With, uh... I believe that's... Oh, I rolled for the... Put the wrong character in. Still, two would have dodged because of the grass, but I used the wrong character. Okay. That should have been a Cosmic Latte that was in the grass. You know what? Actually would make, you know, a lot of sense hmm. is if we actually put colored tokens or markers on the characters where they're playing. Like, we should do that. We should, we should probably even mark the mats too just in case and then just like put some sort of like transparent like blue. Like, like the thing. little like poker chips or something. Those little yeah. transparent ones that you can buy. Yeah. Yeah, we've got some things that we need to upgrade. Well, also I could possibly print. Well, no, we don't want to print the sheets with the colors on them because we swap up. Yeah, that's the problem with that. Okay, well, either way. Um, so I'm going to loot a, a nightmare tree with now CL. Okay. And I don't think that went well. Um, tangled in the grass. I am knocked down. Okay. Uh. It's probably not worth encouraging you is my guess. That looked bad. Okay. Right. A cat just tripped over one of our cords. He didn't unplug it though. Something does seem wrong, though, with the color balance. Oh, yeah, it is a little off. It's a little bit brighter out, so I'm still having to tweak uh, that because now I mean. it's getting brighter out here. So it's like we're still daylight. It's mm -hmm. a funny thing. What were you saying about? Uh, I don't think it's probably worthwhile to actually encourage your guy to get up since no. you already acted this round. No, I'm just going to run over and search the tree again. Okay. This time with Cosmic Latte. And I get knocked down. <laughs> And my characters are like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Okay, so Jade Noble is going to wander over to the tree. Or you mean or the, the acanthus? acanthus and try to harvest some acanthus from it. Oh, wow, we're doing great. Uh, you find nothing, archive the dream. Okay. It's honestly pretty hard to get acanthus, though the one thing is is that if we had a sickle... Like, yeah, oh yeah, that easier. helps a lot. Yeah, that's but one thing. getting sickles are such a bitch. Not that hard. Yeah. I mean, we've got, like, four leather. So well, yeah, but early in the game when it's most beneficial. Yeah, but you can hunt screaming antelopes throughout the thing. So, anyways, uh, now with Bubbles, Bubbles will... Bubbles. Bubbles. Will uh, go after the terrain. Hey! We got something! We got a fresh acanthus, strange resource. Okay. So, one character managed to deliver... Oh, wait, why did I... Oh, yeah, you need to yeah, put that Yeah, technically, it, it is useful to put it... Uh, with bubbles, since I could theoretically eat it right yes. now. Yes. Yes. Though ironically, bubbles actually has dried acanthus on right now. Oh, awesome. Okay, so monster controller moves because that was all of us. Okay, not going to uh, attack. No. Okay. I mean, I had to use my action, and I'm not really sure that it makes sense to to Ye to surge right now. Ooh, bloodthirsty. When it comes into play, draw another AI card. When a survivor suffers damage for any reason, plus a, place a token on this. At the start of the turn, when he has three plus tokens, he gets an extra basic action. Okay. Maul. Victim of grab last round. None. Closest knockdown survivor in range. Hmm. Hmm. Apparently he really likes Cosmic Latte today. Yes. Oh. Uh, now, I can still dodge and stuff while knocked down. Uh, yes, you can dodge while knocked down. I can't that's dash. that's all you can do. Okay, so, uh, I have no extra evasion. Nope. So, that would be two hits. Um, and that will be on the waist and the head. I can easily absorb those. Uh, oh, whoa. That's a three damage each. Ouch. Yeah, so, waist armor gone. Head down to two. 
What's the uh, after effect? Uh, I'm going to gain a bleed, to bleed token and would be knocked down if I was not already. Okay. So, not great. And I'm going to need three bleed tokens for Bloodthirsty. Like, just to make sure oh, yeah, that I to can keep manage track of. it. Yeah. Though we only get one token because you were damaged. Yep. Woo! That was rough. Yeah. We're still going to kick its ass, though. Oh, she yeah. says famous last words. Okay, so now both of your characters stand up. Yep. And I think I'm going to... Um, do you have six movement on your, the character in the grass? No. You do not? No. Okay. Then I'm going to attack with a uh, Cosmic Latte first. This will be with a Scrap Sword. Hey, Crit Camp! Hey! Welcome on board, Crit Camp! I noticed that our... Wait, uh, no, Twitch Plays is playing People of the Stars now. Oh, they, oh yeah, I saw them on the Kingdom Death subreddit. Yeah, yeah. Apparently what? they fought, like, they were talking about the aftermath of the Tyrant, and I, I didn't actually watch it, but I was, like, looking, I'm like, aftermath. No, no, we don't know anything about aftermath of Tyrants. Yeah, well, no, aftermath of everything. Oh, thank you very much for uh, the new layout. Uh, yeah, um, I haven't seen your guys stream in a while. I should check you guys back out. What are you guys playing these days? We should set up auto-hosting sometime, okay, too. Okay, that is really funny. What? But after... Crit Camp says a couple of things. It's like, hey, your friend Crit Camp started watching. <laughs> yes. Um, so I get one hit. Okay. Oh, right. You need me to actually hand you, like, hit locations and stuff. Oops. Beast Tail. Ooh, so I want to I want to crit this. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody always wants to crit. Well, no, actually, there are those, there's, like, that, that Manhunter location. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like me. Yeah, I know. Sounds like me. Oh, God. What was it? I Oh, I, I rolled a double one on uh, Intimacy last week. Oh, yeah. That, <laughs> oh, that was fucking terrible. Oh, come on. Yes, yes. Did you have to remind me of that? It wasn't even last week. It was the week before. Oh, right. I rolled a double one and killed both the father and mother. Yeah, that was terrible. I, I Yeah. Though you finally managed to roll low and get us iridescent hide in the settlement when it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I get a wound, one off of a crit. And full move the monster in a straight line. Cancel all hits now. Any survivors passed over, suffer grab. Have you considered dashing? <laughs> yes. The guy that doesn't... You can't dash. I can't? You can't dash because you're in the middle of the attack. The other guy can dash if you want to. I can dash if I want to. I can, <laughs> I can leave, leave my friends behind. Because <laughs> <laughs> if we don't dash... <laughs> Okay, that's horrible. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so go ahead and, and run yourself right over. Well, first I need to see if I keep that. Uh-huh. No. no. Well, uh, yeah. That, nope. It's high, not low. Yes, CL loses a survival, sadly. Wow, that is a lot of games. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Yeah, yeah, we'd love to stop by and say hi. Uh, it's, wow. Yeah, we can't afford to stream that much right now. Our jobs are getting in the way. Yeah. If you ever take up writing full-time, that might change. Yeah. I'm still considering whether or not I want to try a solo playthrough. Of, like, of just, Kingdom Death? Probably not streaming. Probably just recording. Yeah, that could still be fun. I would, I, yeah, solo playthrough, I don't think I'd want to stream. Yeah, I need enough of the uh, thing to actually, like, uh, like, for instance, I need a lot of tracking information is one thing, and I think it'd be really easy to lose track of stuff. Yeah. So, I will take a damage to the feet. And another bloodthirsty token. Yay! You're welcome. I tried my best. Mm hmm Wait. That's too far. He wants six. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. well. I will attack from behind and maybe pull him back. <laughs> I'm attacking with the hazmat shield. So it's a three plus to hit mm -hmm. from behind. Uh, w, going to WBC. I don't know what WBC. Uh, not familiar with that. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Um, I hit with both. <laughs> with the shield. Oh, the hazmat shield. Yes. That's pretty funny, actually. Um. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Oh, uh, Quick Camp's asking if we're going to be at a pod. 
Uh, yes, yes. As a matter of fact, uh, um, I can't talk about the next thing. Uh, but we're planning to be on Unplugged, and we might have a big surprise for Unplugged. Let's put it that way. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, and we should have a booth, but we won't be Unplugged for the stream, uh, though we might actually do something related to that in the booth as well. But we're going to be there for Defense Grid, the board game, because we should have that in hand to sell it Unplugged. So that would be great. As a matter of fact, I'm meeting with Penny Arcade this week. Nice. Yeah, they want to check out the game. That'll be awesome. Yeah, the Wednesday. We're going over to their offices. That'll be cool. Okay, um, getting back to this. Um, okay, so how much chance do I have to wound this? Uh, and which one do I want to do? So I've got, wow, okay, I'm going to wound, most likely. It's a seven strength built in. Okay, yeah. So, so, so I'm going to start with the beast chest and so hope he doesn't run it. Just don't roll a one. Yay! Congratulations on doing the bare minimum. Yes, now I want to hear the bad news. Well, you didn't roll a two, but yes. I'm about to get a priority target token. Oh. Yes. Have fun with that. Yep, priority target token. His flank, he doesn't like being hit in his flank. Cats don't like that. Mm-hmm. So I am now priority target. Okay, so... Oh yeah, it'd definitely be great to meet you in person. Maybe stop by if you guys are doing any Kingdom Death or anything else and love to say hi. Okay, so... I guess... Um, two, three, four, five... Okay, so now I'm going to activate the Clawhead Arrow. Okay. Which I believe has a range of eight, technically speaking, because the Arc Bow technically has a range of eight, and because I'm using the arrow, it's not cumbersome. So, uh, oh yeah, Crit Camp does some really good board game streaming. If you like us, I highly recommend checking them out as well. So let's try the Clawhead Arrow, which is 1, 6, plus 6. Good enough. So he gets a negative 1 evasion token. And I get the Beast Ear. Uh, which, if I fail, the White Lion jumps back. So if I get a 1, <laughs> then... He's going to hit me. Yeah, but otherwise I won't. Yay! So I wounded him. All right, I am going to search and use the hollow point arrow. Sweet. Get him with both. So you already got the negative one evasion. Yeah. Which means this is more likely to hit. So I do need the negative one evasion. Yep. And the next one will be is for toughness. Uh, no, it's actually for movement. Oh, okay. So this is going to be a 5 plus because of the negative 1 evasion token, which I do indeed hit. Beast tricep. Failure is perform basic action target the attacker. I have plus 13 strength on this bastard. Yeah, I think you got it. Okay. How do you play it differently that it's super brutal? That's what I want okay. to know. Okay, that is not a failure. So another wound. And the movement. Oh. Nice. Oh, yep, that is five damage. Okay, I'm going to surge and see if I keep it. I lose it! <laughs> this is going well. And I'm going to attack with my wonderful uh, uh, hazmat shield again. Good luck. Thank you. Two hits! One perfect hit. Yes. There are your two hit locations? Oh, shoot. I should have much more armor on this character. <laughs> I should have five in each space, because I've got the dragon vestments and the hazmat shield with a full set of uh, rawhide. Hey, Heroic Logic. Hey, welcome back. Uh, the more you know. Okay, we've got the soft belly uh, and the beast knee. So nothing too big here that I have to worry about. So I will go for the soft belly and get a wound. And now I will go for the beast sturdy kneecap. And a basic wound. So he's going down quick. Yeah. And then I'm going to... Can I still encourage? Yes. I'm going to encourage my other character to stand up. Okay. Which I keep the, the survival. And that character is going to attack. Mm -hmm. Hopefully not get run over again. One hit. There we go. Beast Paw. 
Okay, so uh, three, four, five strength, so I need a three plus to wound. Okay. Oh, wait, I always forget I have my monster tooth necklace, which gives me extra strength. I'm doing great. One plus to wound. Crit! Okay. We get a... Your attack destroys the white lion's foot. It loses... He gains a negative one movement token. So he is now down to four movement, not that it matters. And we get another lion claw. Oh, wow. So we pulled both the lion claws out of the deck now. <laughs> okay. No problem, Heroic Logic. I hope that it's uh, helping you out a little bit. Um... And then persistent injury, broken foot, foot, ignore effects of grab. Oh, wow. That's uh, useful. So we basically, we're not afraid of him at all at this point. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to try to finish him off. Okay, can you make it up? Uh, only if I dash. So Bubbles is going to dash. Actually, might as well come in from behind. <laughs> because rogues do it from behind? Yeah, so that drops Bubbles down to seven survival. And then, that didn't work. Okay, so Zambato, which I feel comfortable doing, because, yeah, yeah, I, if I hit him, if I wound him, he dies. Oh, but you're fine Zambato. with the Zambato with... No, there's no super dense locations oh, in the white yay! line, so that's no, fine. So the Zambato hits on a 3+, plus because I'm behind him, specialization, and the negative one evasion token. Oh, very nice. Ooh, barely pulled it off. Good enough. So, wound is that. But it doesn't matter because he'll die, which would cancel the wound after effect. Yeah, so, um, this is going to... We can kill if we want to. <laughs> wound if anything but a, um, one, and I crit on an IR town. Nope. And that's a dead lion. And this is why we're playing two sessions tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. That is that. Oh, we forgot to have your character search the tree. Oh shit. Oh well. Oh well. Too late. <laughs> We're doing great. Can't do it anyways, so. Dun dun dun. Hey, my priority target token didn't even matter. Yes. It is a wonderful day. Fast. I mean, certainly going big, just going in like hard can be really useful in this game. Do we just want to complete People with Stars tonight? No. <laughs> uh, in some ways, kind of, because I've got a real bad feeling about this. Well, we may end up completing it tonight because of your bad feeling. Yeah. So we shall see. Okay, so... Okay, so first off, we gained some Hunt XP, neither of mine age. <laughs> here I am, sitting here. Okay, the stupid, dumbass, scared of the dark person. <laughs> really? Lucky me. A retired character. Yeah. They that we to... had to bring out. Yeah, that we had to bring out. So where's oh. the age event? Age. Yeah, that was a six. Okay, double. This was their first age because they went out on their first hunt and were scared of the fucking guy. <laughs> Uh, Ooh, 15. 15. Eh, gain one random fighting art. Okay, do you have any, do you have vestments on or no? No. Okay. So, hold that quick. I really don't care about this character at all. No. Because, like, they, they're gonna have to go back, so. I mean, we may get the hor the hours ring, but whoop dee. Yeah. <laughs> okay, for our fighting art today, you get Tumble. Oh. When something would collide with you, roll a d10. On a result of 6+, plus, you successfully tumble, tumble out of harm's way. Instead, place a survivor standing on the closest free space outside of the collision path. Oh, that's actually kind of neat. Yeah, that could come in handy with lots of... Well, would that happen... Would that work with the uh, materialization? Uh, I think that is Suffer's Bash. So uh, that would not be collision, per se. Okay, so there's our two lion claws we got between the initial hunt and the fight. And now we get testes! Woo! Testes! Testes! Organs. We need organs! <laughs> it's an organ. Shimmering mane. Uh, that's we can turn into the two hide. A great cat bone. And a lion tail. So not very good on the organs. And then we got your fresh acanthus to go with it. 
We yeah, never... I don't think we've ever gotten tumble before. Yeah, I don't think we, pardon me, have either. Yeah. It's a, it's weird. Yeah, but I mean, there's a lot of variety. Like, how many of the hunt events have we not seen? Oh, it's been hilarious when we like uh, when we've been doing hunts and we're like da da da. da. Wait. We've never seen that one. How yeah. did we never see one with a white yeah, line? Yeah, and yet we roll some of them, like, super frequently. Like, well, how no, many I'm times talking... have we gotten that stupid fucking bird? Well, oh, God, the, the, the bird that goes down your throat. Uh. Oh, with the knee. Oh. <laughs> um, no, but I'm talking even, like, the special hunt events from the monsters. Mm -hmm. Even though there's only, like, oh, nine yeah. of them. We've sometimes gotten surprised, like, we've never seen that one before. Yeah, huh? I mean, we haven't hunted that many phoenixes, but, you know. Ooh, a nanny. Oh, great. A monster bone? A skull and another monster bone. Dude. The thing we need least, bone. And we're getting it all. Yeah, we're seriously getting boned. That's what I'll tell you. <laughs> okay, so for those on Twitch, please stick around. We're going to lock the video stream for everybody else. And remember, this is going to be an extra long night tonight. Well, you.